This is Duke University. Almost everyone has an injury to their joints at some point in their life. When you're young and you're growing, sometimes those injuries can heal on their own, but the older you get, the ability to repair decreases. So what we've learned is that there are different processes that are important in repair when you're younger than you're older. And we're trying to figure out how we can use those changes in processes over time to be able to repair our, our joints better. Once you develop bad arthritis and your joints are destroyed, there's no tissues in the body that will on their own make new joints. We are working on ways to be able to make cells in your body to be able to regenerate and rebuild those joint lining, lining surfaces. And if we can do that, we can avoid the need for getting total joint replacements as you get older with bad arthritis because instead of having to get a metal and plastic replacement for the joint, you can get your own body cells to regrow the joints on their own. One aspect of the research is creating a stem cell derived uh, uh, tissues so that we can use them as a model system to study development, repair, and also use them for a drug discovery or drug development. And in fact, that study has now led to the development of a drug that we are now testing out for osteoporosis. So the idea is that, okay, can we create biomaterials with a certain physical and chemical cues and promote the differentiation of stem cells into bone cells, that is osteoblasts, or uh, muscle cells like myoblasts. So CRISPR refers to an adaptive immune system that's evolved over billions of years to be able to recognize foreign invading viral DNA and then fight it off by going and, and, and chopping it up with specific enzymes. And the most famous one right now is called Cas9. It's now been repurposed as a gene editing tool in which the CRISPR system can be engineered to, to go and target sequences that cause genetic disease. So our work in, de in developing gene editing approaches to treat Duchenne muscular dystrophy and correct mutations to this dystrophin gene represents some of the, uh, the first uh, efforts to use a therapeutically relevant approach to correct uh, genetic diseases with tools like CRISPR-Cas9 in animal models. So, so gene editing technologies are transformative in the ways that we might potentially treat uh, genetic mutations that cause these horrible uh, human diseases. Regeneration Next Initiative is a program that takes scientists and clinicians from different areas together into one framework to be able to understand how to use the body's innate ability to repair better to be able to regenerate damage, damaged parts. So Duke is really rare in its uh, ability to bring together engineers, clinicians, and scientists to work collaboratively in the area of regenerative medicine. So I think the research has come across a long way. So I'm pretty sure in 10, 15 years, you'll be started to see that there are things moving into the clinic. One of our goals is to be able to come up with biologic ways to be able to treat these problems so that you don't have to do big surgeries and, you, and they can be longer lasting and get people back to their lives as quickly as possible. Produced by Duke University.